Hello everyone. I hope you are enjoying our projects for the World Card Making Day. Today's the last day and I have my last project for you. I am using a retired set because I needed the sentiment. None of my current Christmas sets have a sentiment in them. I don't know how I did that. So I pulled out Brightest Glow for Merry Christmas. Check your stash, use what you have. I have a piece of Very Vanilla. It's a scrap. I have a piece of Shaded Spruce that's like two by five and a fourth. Measurements are in the um, PDF. I have my card base. This is Very Vanilla. I'm going to be using the Painted Trees 3D Embossing Folder. All right. And I'm using the Spotlight on Nature Dyes, specifically that one, which is one of the smaller ones. It's actually, let's see, it's about two and three fourths inches. All right. I'm going to use some gold um, trim that we have. I have my adhesive back sparkle dots, specifically for the, I call them gold, champagne, whatever color they are. I have cherry cobbler ink, shaded spruce ink, and the whisper white ink. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my piece of shaded spruce and I am going to put it right here with that middle tree and very carefully close it and I'm going to emboss it. Okay, now that I've got it embossed, I wanna take it out and I wanna use the raised side and I'm going to pull in a scrap piece of paper to put this down and I'm gonna take my Whisper White pad, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'm gonna use the edge here because there's not a lot of space between the edge of the pad and the ink. So I'm going to lightly pull this over. So I'm adding some snow to my tree and you wanna be very careful with this. Take your time so you don't get, um, you don't get extra pieces. And if you get a few, it's gonna happen, but very light hand, very light. Now I'm gonna set this aside to dry and I'm going to take my scrap of very vanilla, my sentiment and cherry cobbler. Oops. And I'm going to ink up my sentiment. All right, I have to be very careful. All right, and I'm gonna stamp that right in the middle and hopefully it's good. Yes, it is. All right, let me move this out of the way. This is gonna go on here like so, and I'm going to cut it out. All right, so I'm going to put it where I want it, and I'm gonna tape it in place so that I don't, um, it doesn't move on me. So let me cut this out. All right, now when I take my tape off, I take my time and I pull it back on itself so that it doesn't rip my paper. Um, once you use your tape several times, it's usually pretty good. All right, so there's that. Ooh, might have been some something on there. Okay, all right, now we can put our card together. And I'm going to fold and burnish my card base, making sure my edges are even. Okay, this piece is going to go on here like so, and it doesn't go all the way to the top and the bottom. So I'm going to use some um, double sided tape, and I'm going to add it to my paper and I hope my um, I'm looking for my scissors hmm. I just used them oh they're over here I hope
hope my ink was dry. Um, always, you can always hit it with your heat tool if it wasn't. Oh, it doesn't look like it was. It looks like I've got some spots on there. All right, let me put one more piece on here and then I'm gonna hit it with my heat tool and clean up my mat. Okay, mat's clean and dry. And I have my um, tree ready to go. So I'm gonna take off the backs and we're gonna add that to our card base. This is a simple idea. Um, and I'm kind of trying to get my um, spacing even as I can. All right, this goes on next. Let me see if this is dirt in there. Oh, it is. There we go. Got it. All right, this is going to go on with dimensionals. Uh, I've got to find them. They were just up there underneath my ink pad. So I'm going to add my dimensionals. Right, and I need one more. Add one in the middle. There we go. Now to take the backs off. All right. There we go. Now, whoops. They stuck to me. All right, when you put this down, make sure your sentiment is straight. So I've got that. Now it's time for our embellishments. The first thing I'm gonna do is my bow. So I'm gonna tie a very tiny bow. Now there is a right side and a wrong side. See how this side is all gold? And this side has this white piece running through it. This is actually the right side, but you know, if you want the gold to give some interest, tie your bow that way. Um, I'm gonna do a very tiny bow. And how to do that is you make your bow and you tighten it and then you pull it and make it shorter. And then I have, I'm gonna cut a very I'm not giving myself much of a tail because I want to put this at the top of the tree. All right, so let me get a glue dot. Okay. And here's one down here. I always interview my ribbon also to see which side I want is is better to be up. And then I pinch it off and then I stick that down in place. And now let's get some gems on our tree. And I want the little ones. So I'm gonna pull out, all right, there's one here that I can use. Um, there. Now let me get some more little ones. I know a lot of people use the take your pick tool. I don't have success with that for some of them. Come on, there. So I do really well with my pokey tool. All right, and I've got to watch my gems. So I get odd numbers. One, two, three, four, five. And there's six and one more will make seven and it's an odd number. All right, 
and there it is over just slightly and there's a quick and easy simple card and I pulled that cute little Christmas tree from Yuletide Village to stamp the inside and my envelope now make sure you wait around and see Sharon's um, idea she is up next and thanks for watching mine I hope you've enjoyed our weekend and that you'll share some of your creations with us bye